What's up guys, Coach Alex and Coach Sue here with Physique Development and today we are going to teach on the Dumbbell Flat Bench Press. Now, before we get into that, we would be so thankful if you went ahead and liked this video, subscribed to our channel, and then left a comment on maybe how incredible Sue looks or maybe how incredibly strong she is in this exercise. That would be great. So, the first thing that we're going to do before we get into any of the exercise is actually go over some of the anatomy around the pec. So I'm gonna have Sue step up here, and what you guys are going to need to know about this specific tissue with it being the pec is that we're going to have a originating position along the sternum, and so then it's going to insert on the upper arm. And so when we are going through these exercises, as you guys have seen within all of our videos, we talk about getting the insertion and the origin of the tissue either as close together as possible or as far away from one another as possible. And in this exercise, we're actually wanting to get these two points. Ah, there you go. <laughs> That's better. Get these two points as far away from one another as possible because we're trying to train the pec in the lengthened position. So now that we have that understanding and we also have an other originating positions for the pec is along the clavicle as well as the costal region here. But for this specific exercise, we're gonna be focusing more so on this sternal pec with a little bit of involvement of that costal pec, but all you need to know, sternal pec. So I'm gonna have Sue go ahead and sit down because I wanna to talk to you guys about some of the things that we've adjusted and how we teach our clients this movement specifically. So in years past, we have taught an elbow angle when pressing that is going to be more in this T position or a perfect 90 degree angle. And what was happening here is that the individual was not getting a ton of pec involvement and was actually getting a lot of anterior delt involvement as a whole, as well as potentially putting their rotator cuff and, and some of the ligaments in the shoulder in a more strained position. And so one of the things that we have adjusted is actually dropping down this elbow angle. And what this is allowing for us to do is actually putting a little bit more muscular tension on the anterior delt. But as we're pressing, we're going to adduct at the shoulder and allow for us to actually recruit the pec more. And so we've seen better strides within our clients working in this plane of motion relative to having their arms at this angle. Now I'm gonna have Sue turn to her side and this is another cue that we provided in years past and maybe this is how you press now is that we used to teach a really hard retraction to start the press by digging the, the traps into the bench and, and wiggling and making sure that the scapula is fully retracted and then the client would go through the pressing and they wouldn't get a whole lot of pec activation, would not be a whole lot of pec involvement, and they would find themselves in a situation where they were having a lot of uh, dysfunction through their upper back and also not having a whole lot of mind-muscle connection with the pec. And so now we teach this in a fashion that we are going to have just natural movement through the scapula and allowing for retraction as the dumbbells are being lowered, and then we're going through protraction as we are pressing the dumbbells out. And this has been so much more successful for our clients to have that natural movement through the scapula as they're going through the pressing motion. Sue, will you go ahead and show them how to properly kick the dumbbells up? I know that a lot of clients have a trouble with this as the dumbbells get heavier. But, wow, <laughs> that, that was something. I, <laughs> those dumbbells are in a safe spot now. So as we are working through this movement, we had talked about the elbow angle and working through the natural movement of the scapula. And so Sue's going to apply that. She's going to brace her core and she's going to allow for those dumbbells to lower. This is allowing for a much greater range of motion. And from here, she's in a very stable position and she's going to press towards her midline. So she's going to have a intent that is going towards the midline of her body as she's pressing down are pressing up. A common tip that we have given physique development clients that have been retracting very hard through their scapula previously when they were pressing is that thinking about pulling the dumbbells down and to get them into that retraction and then to think about pushing them away allows for more of a natural movement to that scapula specifically. Thank you for watching. If you're wanting the best programming of your life for about a dollar a day, check out our app, Physique Development Training Club.